be on the Dreamcast Junkyard uh, Facebook group. They're asking me about uh, getting the Elgato HD60 Pro, the internal PCI card, uh, working with the Dreamcast because the software says that it's not uh, a supported resolution because uh, it doesn't support 640 by 480. It'll support 720 by 480, but not uh, the Dreamcast is a little weird resolution, and so it doesn't quite recognize it in the software. So let me see if I can pull up the Elgato software. I might have even gotten rid of it, honestly. Let's First I'll, uh, I'll just, yeah, whatever. You'll see, you'll see. Okay, Game Capture HD. I didn't get rid of it. Um, let's switch over here. You can see I'm running OBS. Uh, it's the one thing that will pick it up. So, um, oh, I'll show you just so you, so you can see uh, my Dreamcast setup over here. I got the Akura box right there. You can't really see it super well, but I'll turn it on so you, now you can see that it's it's on. You can see the blue glow from the LED. If you have an Akura, you'll recognize it. Uh, I'll come back in here. And oh yeah, okay. So it says my it's in use by OBS. So I guess that's not really a good indicator. I might not be able to do both at the same time. But you'll know. Uh, does it normally work? But if I come over here to my Elgato, click on this. It's it's, uh, it's right there. You can see I got the USB GD-ROM set up, pull in here, you know, play some whatever. You know, Half-Life, why not? And you'll see there's the, the no signal was what shows up for a second. Oh, there we go. There's the sound. I just had it off for some reason. Um... As you can see, it's working uh, totally fine, even on, uh, you know, just OBS. So I'll show you, uh, I'll try and show you my uh, settings here. We'll come in here and we'll plop down, uh, uh, what's my Elgato say? So I've got some my my in my properties on my Elgato. I know you can't really see this. Let me see if I can pull this up to the side. Go back to the rip. Okay. So you can see here. Uh, I've selected the Game Capture HD 60 Pro as the device, uh, and I've set its resolution to 1920 by 1080 60 FPS. Nothing super fancy video format. Any resolution type is custom so okay and we'll come back in here I have a couple of filters applied and so we'll take a look at those uh, so I've got the scaling aspect ratio uh, it's a four by three aspect ratio and then I have some cropping which is not going to affect it but if you have your settings set up as I do in here it should pick it up I uh, I think the important one is probably the resolution. Uh, there might be some software upscaling that's happening when I tell it to be uh, 1060 or 1060, 1080. Um, but there's no, you know, if we come back here, you look at the system, and then if we follow this. I mean, you come down here to the Elgato in the in the back of my computer. There's no. Uh, I don't use an upscaler. It's no, there's no hardware upscaling going on. I don't. I'm not I'm plugged into anything fancy. So it's just uh, if you if you follow those settings, man. Hopefully it works for you. And anybody else that's having trouble, uh, try just try and emulate my settings. If if the OBS is giving you trouble, because the Elgato software still will not recognize uh, the resolution, uh, but o OBS will. Maybe if you're still having trouble, try updating OBS. Uh, that's my advice. Anyway, good luck.